Okay, in this video, this is how to have a VI, like a piano or something, installed on one track, and then to create another track that just feeds its MIDI input into that VI on that other track. So let's start by just creating a piano, just for simplicity. Let's have a Maverick piano. There we go. And we've got that on that track. Okay, so what I want to do now is create another track that just feeds the MIDI from my keyboard input into that VI and that I can record on a separate track so I can have separate MIDI tracks but they're all feeding one virtual instrument. So create a new track, double click and I'm just going to change the routing here so we take the master send off and then we add a send to this piano track which is on track number one in this case. But I'm not sending audio Turn that to none. I'm just sending MIDI here. And I'm going to actually just use the channel I'm working with, which is channel one, but that might be different for you. Okay, so that's the routing done. And if we come back to this track and arm it, you can see we're getting signal, but this is audio. So we don't want that. We want MIDI. So I'm going to come to the input here, drop this down. You can see it's set to input mono one. That's an audio track. I'm going to come down to MIDI find my keyboard and I'm working with channel one that might be different for what you're working on but I'm going to use channel one now if I play this keyboard I've got MIDI coming in but it's playing the VI on this track so if I come back to this track the original VI track and record like that and then I come back and I say I want to record something different and I'm going to arm this MIDI track go back into record I'm recording the MIDI on a separate track, but it's all feeding this one VI here. And obviously you could have more tracks doing exactly the same thing, and an easy way to make another track doing this would just be to right-click it and duplicate it. And then if you get several, say if you're doing a drum kit and you want separate tracks for the hats, toms, etc., then you could make them all into a nice, neat folder. And then you could save the whole thing as a template so you can bring it back easily next time. But anyway, that's how to create a MIDI track that just feeds another track another tracks VI. Okay.